Hello YouTube, time for a little video update as to what I'm up to these days. It's been a while, work is busy and such. Uh, recently been gifted a large number of sealed lead acid batteries by a friend who was uh, not needing them anymore. So, what's the project? Well, my parents have owned this uh, little battery box for a couple years and uh, they kind of broke it. Essentially what this battery box is, is uh, 60 amp hours of sealed lead acid batteries with an inverter inside. Now, there's no charge controller inside, and what they decided to do at the time was plug in some solar panels. Sure, that works, right? Except they boiled off all the water from the batteries, and now that they're absolutely useless and they're just paperweights, uh, it's just an inverter. Well, it's time to fix that. What I have down here are... Six nine amp hour sealed lead acid batteries. They're all good, they're all working, and I'm going to put them inside this box. But what's inside the box, you ask? Well, inside this enclosure, there were the lead acid batteries inside this compartment, as well as this inverter down here. There's some external battery binding posts to connect extra batteries to. Uh, so you can expand the capacity and just use the inverter off of it, which is what I've been doing for a while. It's also got an external uh, cigarette lighter port with uh, thermal protection, as well as a little board here to switch the inverter on and off and just display state of charge on a couple of LEDs. So what I'm going to be doing is taking these batteries and essentially arranging them like so, with the terminals opposing each other, and putting them in parallel. So I'll have two 12 amp 12 volt 9 amp hour batteries for a total of 18 amp hours which is pretty comparable to the original capacity and I'll cram it all into the box up here so here's one of the cell groups that I'm going to be building essentially what I'm doing is taking these two 9 amp hour batteries and putting them back to back I've actually got these uh, scrap pieces of rubber about mm, 8 millimeters thick I think um, that I've just cut down by a pair of scissors to make shims for both batteries just so that I don't damage the connectors here. Um, just going to be using some simple quick disconnects and some 12 gauge wire to uh, put these two in parallel and then put all three pairs in parallel as well. Here we have the completed assembly. Essentially um, this was the original link from the inverter to the uh, <coughs> main batteries this is going to be covered in electrical tape and heat shrink for safety um, using these two battery lugs on the sides as the uh, termination points I've got 12 gauge wire from each pair of cells it's, it's not a lot but the uh, the copper is substantial enough I think especially since these two small wires are about equal to the thickness of all three of these combined I think the current capacity of these is going to be fine <coughs> and uh, Basically, all I need to do is finish the terminations and put some foam padding to keep everything from shifting around. Essentially, what I've done is I've taken two battery packs and put them side by side, like the ones underneath. So now I have six uh, 9 amp hour 12 volt batteries inside this box, so it's pretty close to the original capacity. Well, more after the break. Well, several hours later, I finally have the finished version. Right now, this is charging. It's been charging for a couple hours now, about three amp hours have gone, and I'm only trickle charging her right now just to be gentle and to balance all the cells inside. Um, I've got a big SB50 power pole in the back there tied into the lugs on the back of the battery pack with a fuse, and uh, the inverter works, it's taking charge, everything's working fine, so all I really need to do is just take the cover and attach it, put it all back in together and uh, it's been also padded with foam just so the batteries won't shift around. So that's basically this little mini project done in a couple hours. Now I just need to uh, use the other 120 amp hours of lead acid batteries that I've been gifted. Yeah, more after the next video update. Well here is the finished product. The lid is securely fastened on and the batteries have been securely wedged in place on the inside of the box. Right now I have a wiring harness coming out the back going through a pair of power poles and some adapters to this little watt meter. I've got it charging off a 13.8 volt power supply. It's right now at 1.1 amp. It's almost done charging. Um, 
Otherwise, on the side here, we've got the switches to display state of charge and control the inverter and the outlets for the inverter itself. It might be too dark to actually see those. But uh, regardless, quick little project. Now that this thing works, I just have to integrate it into the rest of my solar battery bank, which uh, might become a video later. Well, if you like this video, thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.